the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Very dear fathers, what a joy to be here in this village of St. Mary of the Huron, sanctified by our fathers in the faith. St. Peter said, we have been redeemed at a great price, not by gold or silver, by the blood of the Immaculate Lamb of God. And we too, living here in Canada, we can say, the fathers who brought the faith in this place, they planted it with their blood. We have been evangelized at a great price. We're celebrating the eight martyrs whose feast was yesterday in this very village of St. Mary of the Huron where they lived. Let us remember the others as well. All the others they who have suffered and labored, whether priests or brothers or donné, as they call them, those who had given themselves to help the Jesuits and the Indians themselves, the Huron, like Chief Herstache, who, if I'm not mistaken, came from here as well, who died on the shore of the St. Lawrence River soon after St. Isaac was, was arrested. I would like to insist in these few words that I have to speak with you, these few moments, why do we come here? What can we bring home? We come here to give glory to God, first of all. That's why we have the Holy Mass. To give glory to God. Faith continues. The Mass that we have is the Mass that these fathers said right down here in wherever the chapel was. Same Mass. My, the faith continues. Faith of our fathers was the first song we sang this morning as we left. Faith of our fathers. We will be true to thee till death. So we are here to give glory to God, to thank God. My God, thank you for having sent these men here. They left their home. They left their families. I remind you, Marie de l'Incarnation. I think she's now canonized blessed or canonized. She was married. She had a 12-year-old son. She was in France. And God called her a little bit like Saint Nicolas de Flu in Switzerland, kind of. And she called her to, uh, to leave her family, leave her 12-year-old son at home, cross the ocean, and bring the faith here. She had a special mission. They made big sacrifices for us. And we come here to remind ourselves try to get to know more, perhaps one of the fruit of this pilgrimage when you go home is to pick up one of their lives, a book of history of Canada, perhaps, St. Isaac Job, John Abribuff, any of them, to get to know their, their faith, their love, better. But we come here as well to learn from them. I want to dwell more on this particular aspect. We have to go home, closer to the martyrs. Not just in affection, because they're great and we're thankful. But, how can we imitate them? Of course, there's no more Mohawks or very few.